Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a German dragon figure by the name of Wilhelm Bachmann. He's a Falljameger from Battalion 500, and he's from the final defense of the Reich. So let's take a look at the figure's box. And there's a picture of the figure for you. And it's the same on all sides of the box. And there's the back with equipment listed there. And this one came out in 2005. All right, let me take out the figure for you. All right, guys, here is Wilhelm Bachmann, a really nice German figure. And this one's been on my radar for a few years, actually. I've always wanted to get him, but I kind of uh, postponed purchasing him um, because I wanted to get some other figures first. So I finally got this one, and I bought him off eBay for... Um, I can't remember the exact price. I think it was in the 70 $80 range. Um, but this is a really cool figure. I like how unique he looks. The uniform is really nice. Alright, well, let's take a look at the rifle for starters. He holds this pretty well, as you would expect. Okay, and here it is up close. Nice detailing as always. All right, and the figure also comes with some stick grenades here. Nice detailing on these as well. And if you want to go for the picture on the box, you can make him hold one of these and make it look like he's about to throw it. All right, let's take a look at this head sculpt with the helmet. The helmet fits very well onto his head. All right, let me try to carefully take off this helmet here. As I've said before in other videos, you really want to be careful with these, um, with the helmet liner for these um, FJ helmets. They're very, very delicate. So, all right, well, I got it off successfully. So there is a look at his FJ helmet. Very simple looking, but still nice. And here is the head sculpt, which is also um, very nicely detailed. Uh, de definitely looks like a German head sculpt, in my opinion. It's got very strong features. All right, next up, let's take a look at the equipment you get with this figure. So he comes with ammunition bandolier. And I don't have any um, clips for his rifle in there. Uh, they were actually not fitting very well, so I left those inside of the box. But anyway, um, nice accessory there. All right, we've got his belt, of course, with the Y strap. And then in the back, we've got a nice shovel here. And you can see his knife is also attached onto the case. That looks very nice. All right, and then standard German equipment there in the back. And that's everything for equipment that comes with this figure. Uh, but I really love the um, uh, the jump smock that comes with the figure. 
I love the dot pattern on this. Looks very nice. In fact, I've never really seen uh, this kind of pattern before on a figure, so that, that makes this figure um, very unique. And you can see he also comes with a scarf. And then underneath you can get a glimpse of the uniform. All right, then lastly, we've got the figure's boots, which are really nice on this figure. Once again, I've never really seen uh, boots like this on any um, dragon figures that I have. I really like the um, underside of the boots, very nicely detailed with the silver. All right, and I think that just about covers everything that you get with this figure. So, excellent figure. I really like the overall look of them, especially the jump smock with the P-dot pattern. Looks very nice. So yeah, definitely recommend checking this figure out. He's not terribly rare, a little bit on the rare side, but not too hard to find. So you shouldn't have too much trouble. And like I said, I did pay, I think it was in the $70 range, so a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. This is a unique figure, and he looks really nice, and the detail is good. So hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you next time.